Let's go ahead and do another example. So again, I'm going to count, I have one, two, three, four terms. And so whenever we have four terms, we want to do factor by grouping. And so that just means, okay, I'm going to make my first grouping and then my second grouping. And most of the time it works with just the first two and the last two, but you do want to find a grouping where they both have something in common or a common factor. So if I look at that red group, I'm going to go ahead and pull out an x squared because that's in common with both of them. And I'm going to think, okay, x squared times x gets me back to that x cubed. And then x squared times a negative 4 gets me to my second term there of negative 4x squared. All right, let's go ahead and look at that purple grouping. And it looks like I can pull out a 5. So I'm going to pull out a positive 5 out of there. And then 5 times x would get me to 5x. 5 times negative 4 is going to get me to that last term of negative 20. And what I'm hoping for is I'm hoping to find a common term here. So here my common term, my common grouping is x plus 4. So I'm going to pull out that x plus 4. I'm going to factor out that group of x minus 4 just like that. And then in the next parentheses, what's going to go there is what was remaining. So here I had an x squared in front, so that's going to go in the next parentheses. And I had a positive 5 in front as well, so that's going to go in that next parentheses. Let's go ahead and do our check and see if we can hit everything that we were supposed to. So again, this isn't necessarily part of the factoring process. This is the check to make sure I did it correctly. So if I were to redistribute out and go x squared times x, then that would get me to my x cubed. So that's looking good. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and go x times a positive 5. And we can really kind of do this in any order as long as I make sure to hit everything. So let's see what that gets me. That gets me to the plus 5x right there. Okay, we're looking good. All right, let's go ahead and move on to this negative 4 here. And let's go negative 4 times x squared. So negative 4 times x squared. Do we see that anywhere? Yep, right there. Okay, just one last one here. Let's go ahead and do, go negative 4 times positive 5. And that would get me to a negative 20, which we see right there at the end. And we are looking good.